What's up, YouTubers? I'm gonna teach you guys how to do um a DNA strand. Um, not really like realistic, but it it looks cool. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean there. Um, I'll show you an example. Actually, no, you'll get to do it with me. I'm gonna go to Planet Sonic. Yep. Oh, nope. actually, you know what? I'm doing it with the spear. So many people do it with that. I'm gonna be the unique one. Um, new material, and I want to make this a white. I want to make oh wait nope sorry, color white reflection on. Turn that down to there. That's your first sphere, and we're gonna drag this up. One hundred. We're gonna come on right there. Copy and paste that, except now we're gonna move it. Let's do 600. 600 looks good. Except now we're gonna make a new material, and this is gonna be black. So, well, maybe like a dark grayish. That looks nice. Um, reflection, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna drag and drop this onto here. So now we get that. Two balls. <laughs> we're gonna go to here, cylinder, yeah, cylinders. Self explanatory. You kinda have to use them. I'm not gonna be the odd one here who doesn't. Uh, I've seen plenty of tutorials on this, but no one really goes in depth. Um, and I might not go into depth either. And I apologize for that. We're gonna make a new one right here, and this is gonna be black. Or very very dark gray. Black looks very cartoonish if you don't. Ah, wrong way. Right there. Throw this on our cylinder. Um, if you've watched my rendering tutorial, um, you'll know that I have global illumination and ambient occasion on. Um, and that is just part of what makes everything look good. So we're just gonna make a null. Throw it into here. Call this DNA. So now I got that. Go into MoGraph up here. And we're gonna go into Cloner. Drag that here. So now I got three. That's all right. It kind of looks bad now, but turn this to maybe fifteen. Looks nice. Uh. And we're gonna take our Cloner. Go into front view right here and we had a cloner selected as you can see everything is straight which is always nice to have I want everything like so the balls are not touching having to be all the way up there make sure that's zeroed out there we go um, let's turn that down, maybe. There we go, that looks nice. Go back into perspective view. There we go, That that's pretty tall. And, so let's turn that down to maybe, like, here. And if anything, I'll turn the grayscale gorilla thingy down as well. But, yeah, on with the shoe. So we're gonna center that. Select. And there we go. That is our DNA so far. Now we're going to go into here. Make sure this is not a single value. Make sure the step size of that. And we're just going to move this up. And you can start to see. We're just making it. So we're going to throw this maybe at a... Let's say around 30. 30 looks nice. Right there. Um, play around with it, honestly. And if we render this out now, we will get a nice looking DNA strand. Um, as you can see right here, it looks pretty nice. I'm sure Planasonics would look a little bit better. But you know what? I don't care because, yeah. <laughs> 
As you can see, it looks nice. Um, you've got the reflecting. My render settings look a little bit off. So, oh, no, they're not. It's... There we go. So yeah, you can see right there. Looks nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So if we just turn the studio off and I just throw the cloner jacked up like this, and then this back to zero. You'll start to see it looks a little weird. And you don't worry about that because you go into here. Make sure that's all straight, which it is. Go into cloner now. Um, that was a lot of copies I was doing. Um, step rotation. Change that. Thirty. That looks too much. Way too much. There we go. That looks. That looks nice. Ta-da. <laughs> Uh, step rotation. Uh, if you want to animate it, feel free. Um, and that is your DNA. Um, I'll do a quick animation just to show you what I mean by that. Control, control. Like so. We can do it the other way as well, which I think looks a little bit better. So we're going to start off with. I'm just going to give one reminder before I go. Um, and yeah, sorry the video is a little long. Basically, once we get 10 subscribers right here, we have 9 <laughs> taunting us so bad. But, um, you know what? They are active subscribers, and so that's what I care about, is people who come to our channel. We do gameplay um, on this one right here. And then, if I remember right, it's one of my friends channels that I upload to as well. Well, I don't upload personally. But anyways, my point being, we do intros, we do montages, we do OCEs for people, as long as we get some credit. Meaning, intros, for example. I do the intros, um, Samir does some, I mean Sam. Um, you know, just Skype me, and I can basically model what you want. I mean, I I do tutorials as well. If that's what you want, just ask me. Throw me a note. Just be like, yo, can you teach me how to do this on Cinema 4D? Sony Vegas, Adobe After Effects. Um, let's see. I also do, like, Windows stuff. You know, like, how to get this directory. Or, like, Dreamweaver. A lot of Adobe stuff. I know some Flash. Um, anything. I'm up for a challenge. I'm up for anything. Um, I'll do what you guys tell me to do. A quick reminder, if you guys are interested in our channel, in our gameplay, all that, uploading, in our clan mostly, throw me a note again. We're open to anyone. This is our main channel right here. We upload amazing gameplay through our members. Um, doesn't even have to be amazing. Anything that we think is impressive, which... My standards is anything that's positive. <laughs> but, um, there's our channel. We do have some people that are uploading at the moment. So, I apologize for that you can't see any of our gameplay. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. That's about it, guys. See ya.